Good morning, friends and parents, or should I say good afternoon? Uh, Miss Vincent's getting a little late start this morning, but that's okay. As long as we get it done, we get it done correctly. That's all that matters, and that you're having fun. Well, let's get started. Today, say it with me, okay? Today is... Tuesday, April 14, 2020. And how do we always start reading? From left to right. How do we start writing? From left to right. Good job. Good morning friends today we are going to find different ways to count. We will have fun and learn. Love, Miss Vincent. Miss Patricia and who? Miss Frida. What am I gonna put over here? A big heart. Why? Because my heart is smiling. Happy face, arms, legs. Crazy hair. Okay, let's look down here. What is today? Let's see. Say the days with me. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Good job. Good job. Okay, move my chair. Okay, we're going to go over, over vocabulary words. This, uh, These are... Stars. Do you see stars during the day or the night? <clears throat> Excuse me. Right. At night. Oh. Don't want to stay up there. Okay, look at this arrow. What is it pointing to? The sky. The sky. Oh, another arrow. Another arrow. What's it pointing to? Whew. It comes out in the daytime and it's hot sun. Good job. This comes out at when? It's not the sun, but it's the moon. And it comes out during the night. Good job. You all are so smart. Ooh, what is this? Lightning. Lightning. Lightning can be pretty, but it's awful dangerous. Can't be outside during a lightning storm or a thunderstorm. And this is when it lightnings and rains, wind blows, thunder, thunderstorm, thunderstorm. Good job. Let's say them again. You say them with me. Stars, sky, sun, moon, lightning. And thunderstorm. Good job. 
What shape? It's a triangle. A triangle has three sides. A triangle has three sides. Up the mountain, down and back. A triangle has three sides. How many sides? Three. Good. What color is our triangle? There is a color we all know. Can you guess what it is? B R O W N. B R O W N. B R O W N. That's how we spell brown. Good job. Okay, a new letter. What is it? You say it, you. How does it sound? Uh, uh, umbrella. Uh, uh, under. Here's our umbrella. And what is our number? 22. What two numbers make 22? A two and a two. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and twenty-two. Good job. Okay, so today, what we're going to do, we're going to be counting. You can use your number cards in uh, your backpack that you got. And what you can do, you can pull a number card out and say you pick number five. Well, then you and an adult or your brothers or siblings can take turns. Okay, so I pick, just say I pick number five. So listen. I want you to count how many taps I make. How many taps was that? Five. Okay, now listen. I'm not going to tell you the number. I want you to count. Ready? Ooh, big number. Can you tell me how many taps I made? Good. It was ten. Very good. Then you can line up your toys. You can count your toys. You can write your name. Let me get my paper. It's not my paper, but it's what I write on. You can write your name. And you can count how many letters you got. Can you see? Okay. That's my name, Miss Vincent. Let's count how many letters I've got. Count with me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're going to write the number. I wrote the number 10 because there's 10 letters in my name. Let's do Miss Patricia's. Okay. Miss Patricia. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. We're going to write eleven because she's got eleven. Okay, now look. She has eleven. She has eleven. And I have ten. What number is the biggest, the largest? Is it number ten or is it number eleven? Number 11. So Miss Patricia has more letters in her name than I do. Let's check out Miss Frida's. <clears throat> we'll see how much Miss Frida has. Okay. 
Okay, there's Miss Frida's name. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, she's got seven letters in her name. I had 10, Miss Patricia had 11, and Miss Frida has seven. 10 letters in my name, 11 letters in Miss Patricia's name, and seven letters in Miss Frida's name. Who has the least, or which is the smallest number? Is it 10, 11, or 7? I'll give you a minute to think about it. Right, 7. So, Miss Patricia's got the most. I've got the medium. And Miss Frida has less. Good job. That was another way to count. So, you can tap. You can tap, and you can guess the numbers. You can get your cards out, out of your backpack, and choose a number, and you can count that. You can write your name, count your letters. Your parents can write their name, and you can count, and you can see who's got the most and who's got the least. You can line your toys up. You can... Um, Count different types of food. If you've got goldfish, if you're eating goldfish or cereals, you can count and see how many you got. You can go outside and you can take a walk around your yard and look at different um, plants and leaves and rocks and sticks and stuff like that. And you can count those. So there's always, always somewhere to count. You and your parents can stand up or sit down beside each other, and you can count, okay? So today we're talking about counting, different ways of counting. Okay, parents, um, to your gross motors today, you can play follow the leader. You all can switch off and um, take turns on being the leader. You all can skip, you can hop, you can walk, you can walk backwards, you can walk sideways, you can fly like an airplane, but take turns on being the leader and have a little fun. If it's not too cool outside, you can go outside and play outside and do it as well. Um, I'm going to post a video um, from Jack Hartman. We all, he um, does a tutti tal. He does um, all kinds of different songs that we uh, listen to in the in the classroom. So it's going to be um, good foods, and it's talking about different things that make you healthy, different types of food, and what we need to make us healthy. Okay, we read the little cloud yesterday, and um, we was actually supposed to read it today, but that's okay. Um, so something else you can do when you go outside, you can go outside, look up at the clouds, and you can count the clouds. You can um, discuss and talk about what the clouds look like. Today, I'm going to read a different book. It's called ABC, I Like Me, and it's by Nancy Carson. And how do we start reading? From left to right. Okay, I want you to say the letters with me, okay? A. I am awesome. Everybody say, I am awesome. A for awesome. Comes after A. B. Brave and, ooh, look at her. She's looking underneath her bed. Is there such thing as monsters under your bed? No. What comes after B? We got A, B, C. Good job. Oh, too many pages. C. Cheerful. Cheerful. That means you're happy. Cheerful. A, B, C, 
D, I have big dreams. Oh, look, they're dreaming about going to the moon. Oh, what do you see up here in the sky? Stars. Good job. A, B, C, D. What's next? You're right. E. And I like to explore. Explore. That's what you could do. You could go outside and explore outside and find rocks and sticks and leaves and flowers and dirt and all kinds of stuff outside. What's after E? F. Good. I am a good friend. We're all good friends. Oh, look, little froggy. Looks like he's sick. And then the little piggy, his friend, is giving him some soup and juice and taking his temperature. Hope he feels okay. Oh, look, she's even bringing him a f f flower. Let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F. What's next? See if you're right. You're right. G. I love to giggle. <laughs> I love to giggle with my friends. Giggle is laughing. H. And be happy. How do you know he's happy? Yep. He's got that pretty big smile. Hey, we got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. What's next? I. I have a great imagination. We all have to have an imagination. That's how we play pretend. Look, we've got... A queen. Oh, a dragon. Yeah. Oh, look at that beautiful jewel on her stick. What's after? Ah, my pages are sticking together. J, J. I can j j jump, and I can j. J juggle. Can you all juggle? I can't. What's after J? K. I am kind. She's sharing her food with her friends. Remember, we always got to be kind. Be nice to our friends. What's after K? L. L. I am a good leader. When you and your family plays follow the leader, we'll see who's the better leader. What's next? L. Yum. Sometimes I make mistakes. Uh-oh. He broke the plate and he spilled the milk. But that's okay. We all always... All of us always make some type of a mistake, but that's okay. As long as we learn from them and don't try not to do them again. What comes after M? N. And sometimes I'm noisy. You all are very noisy in the classroom. Noisy. He's beating on pots and pans. And he made drums out of what he's got at home, and that was pots and pans and spoons. What comes after M? Let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. What is it? Oh, I love to play outside. Oh, it must be fall because there's red leaves on the ground. What's after O? P. I try to be polite. And being polite, you say please and thank you. I'm sorry. You're welcome. Be nice and polite. 
comes after P. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. Q. I like quiet times. I do too. That's why Miss Vincent's so tired today because it was quiet last night and I stayed up and read my book. R. R like a pirate. R. So I can read. Comes after R. Good job, S. I am good at sharing. Well, look, they're sharing their donuts. We always got to share and be nice. What's next? What letter? T, -t, T. I am talented. Talented. Oh, she's skating, playing the drums, juggling, and juggling a plate. That's after T. U. That's our letter this week. U. U. Look at me. I'm unique. Unique means different. What makes him unique? What color are, is all of his friends? They're green. And what color is he? He's purple. So that makes him unique. What's next? V, v, v. I try to eat all my vegetables. Yum, I love vegetables. What's after V? W. I like to make wishes. When you have a birthday cake and you blow out all the candles, you make a wish. X. X, X, O, O. That stands for hugs and kisses. Kisses and hugs. What's after X? Y. Oh, I need a good night's sleep. So tomorrow... Z, I can zoom on. Dun, da, 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 dun, da. Zoom. Good job. Okay, boys and girls. Thank you for sitting down and sharing and talking with me today. We talked about different numbers and letters and what you can do. You can go outside and go on a nature hike and look for different things that you can count. You can count your toys. You can count blocks. You can count cars. You can count sticks and leaves and anything that you can pick up, you can count. Okay. Well, I will get off here and post our videos and then I'll post some music. And then I will see you all tomorrow. Sit down, be good, and listen to your parents. And have a great day. We love you and we miss you.